Listen, it's very obvious I need to get my hair done, I need to get it dyed, I need to get my extensions moved up, I need to get it cut, I need to do all the things. So the hair is up and out of the face right now, I'm looking like a hot mess. Like there's just no saving it. On top of it, it's greasy too. So like I'm really just letting myself go. We're just gonna ignore the hair, okay? Moving on. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today, I'm always surrounded by a Stanley. Today, I'm going to be doing the most intense, huge, overwhelming Amazon must-have videos of my entire life. I have been asking family and friends for the last couple of weeks what their favorite Amazon products are and having everyone send me links. I probably ordered, I'm not trying to be funny, 50 to 60 things on Amazon the last couple of weeks preparing for this video because I wanted just to do the most like iconic, epic, does anyone say Epic anymore? Amazon must-haves leading in to the fall, leading in to the holidays, leading into all the things. And I've got some good shit. Everything I'm about to talk about, I have used, I love. Amazon Prime days are literally happening right around the corner. I believe it's the 10th and 11th of this month. Of course, I'll put all that information in the description box down below. There are some amazing, amazing sales happening. There's like no rhyme or reason to this video, no category. It is just such an array of shit. How wellness, fun. I mean, to the point we have toys in here, we have comfort stuff in here. We've got everything. We're gonna jump into it. First thing I wanna mention right off the bat is this right here. This is the brand Hero Cosmetics. You guys definitely know them for their pimple patches, their Mighty Patch, their nose patches, all the things. They've been huge for quite a while now. And I have partnered with them for my video today. I'm so excited about this because I love partnering with brands who I just like genuinely love the people behind it. I love the product. It's very exciting for me. And I actually met with the Hero brand a couple of months ago. I loved the people. I loved the story. And I freaking love the product. So I've been genuinely using these products now for a couple of months. This is the original Mighty Patch, right? So this is like the original pimple patch. There's been so many brands who've tried to recreate it, but this is the original. If it ain't broken, don't fix it. This is the original for a reason, it's the best. This is actually crazy. Ew, this is kind of gross, okay? But I literally have a pimple on my armpit right now. And I don't know why, but why do we ever know if we have pimples? Okay, I'm just keeping it real with you, but I have a pimple on my armpit right now. And I put the pimple patch on it last night and legitimately woke up and the whitehead was gone. It had the tiniest whitehead. It hurt so bad. I put it on before bed. I woke up gone. These things legitimately work. My friend's daughter, she's 12 years old and she had a pimple last week and we put this on her. And when she woke up the next morning, there was so much gunk. Sorry if that's gross, but it's literally like a little on the go Dr. Pimple Popper, but you don't have to touch it, which is amazing because you're not gonna damage your skin by squeezing and leaving scars or anything like that. These are gonna be 20% off for Amazon Prime deals, okay? So if you have not tried this brand yet, it truly is amazing. And girl, the nose one is no joke. Sometimes I'll only leave it on for like an hour if I just wanna get like a little out, but you are supposed to leave this on overnight. And when you wake up, the amount of stuff that comes out of your pores is crazy. And I'm not even a clogged pore girly. Like that's not my skin issue. I've never had to deal with clogged pores, but even still, like I have a little something on there, right? The way this pulls it out, bitch, just make sure that before you use these products that you do like cleanse your skin and don't put anything on it. Like don't moisturize nothing, just cleanse your skin and then go straight in. That way they stick to the actual skin and do their magic. The ingredients are good. It's a good situation. If you haven't tried it, now is the time, period. Okay, you guys, speaking of skin, I've got to talk about this. This is another thing that when I saw it, I was like, there is no way, but I had to. The curiosity, it got me, I had to, okay? It's the snail mucin. It's super inexpensive for what it is, you guys, which is another reason I was kind of nervous because when it comes to inexpensive skincare, I get nervous, I get a little weary because I'm so sensitive. My skin is so, so sensitive, I have to be careful. And it literally says on it that it's snail secretion. Clearly I like it. The bottle at this point is half gone. I've had it for probably like two months at this point. This is the serum. And then this, I don't even know what you technically call this. The cream, I guess. Yes, this is the all-in-one cream. It is so thick in there, you guys. Like, let me just show you. Look at that. You see that? Listen. I am a dry girly, okay? I always have been. I'm not kidding when I say after two days of using these, I genuinely feel like my skin changed. I am not joking. You know, I do not push skincare very hard because I'm definitely one of those people where I'm like, skincare is different for every single person. We all have such different skin. If something works for me, it's not gonna work for you, right? So it's like, I don't really talk about skincare too much, but the reason I'm talking about this is because I believe that this is one of those products that it's gotta be universal and it's gotta be amazing for everybody because of the fact that it's literally just snail mucin. Bitch, 
I'm telling you, it works. I do this every single morning. I do both of them every single night and my skin is so hydrated. Also, my makeup applies like a dream on top of them. I'm obsessed. I woke up this morning and I still had on my Mighty Nose Patch. I stripped that off. Then I went on top with both of these products because I'm in California right now and the air is so dry. I need the extra hydration. Then I applied my foundation. I was just like, bitch. Like, it just felt like I just had a facial. Okay, let's talk about things in the bathroom. I've talked about these on my Instagram stories. I have not talked about them here on YouTube yet, okay? So these right here are little wristbands for when you wash your face. I first saw Whitney Simmons using these on her channel. And I was like, interesting. I don't know if I'd actually use them. You guys, these are such a game changer. I never realized how much I hated water dripping down my arms until I got these. And now I'm so aware of it. So you put them on your wrist when you wash your face and that's it. All of the water, the face wash, the cleanser, it just gathers up in this and that's it. And then you can just wash them, reuse them. I don't wash them every time. Don't get it twisted, girl. I literally take my wet ass wristbands and just let them sit there, okay? But I'm disgusting. Do what you will. It's not my problem, okay? No one's gonna know. No matter what you're wearing, your jewelry, your outfit, nothing gets wet. Once you start using them, you're always gonna wanna wear them when you wash your face. It's just so convenient. This is another thing that I was like, I don't get it. What is the point? But the amount of reviews that this has on Amazon, I forgot what it was, but it was something crazy. My girlfriends love these. So these right here, this is the Clean Skin Club Redefining. Wait, what is this actually called? Basically all these are, are towels. This right here is the 50 count box, but I believe it comes in an even bigger box, but I would just start here, okay? Literally all it is, is a dry towel to use in the bathroom. I did not understand the hype around it until I got it. And now I'm like, oh my God, like think about it, you guys. We spend all of this time and money on our face, right? We cleanse our face, we do the moisturizer, all the things, but in between all of that, we're using our hand towel or our bath towel, whatever it is in our bathroom. And a lot of times we're using it multiple times. We're not replacing it every single time. Maybe you wipe the sink down with it. You splash water, you wipe the sink. The next morning, you're wiping your face. It's stopping the spread of bacteria, which is going to help stop clogged pores, acneic breakouts. Did I say acneic? It sounded so professional. It's just gonna stop all the things, literally bacteria from spreading. So it's just a box of all of these clean towels, there's dry towels. They do not shed on the skin or like leave little fuzzies afterwards. Unlike my lipsticks. The world's tiniest violin is playing in my name right now. But that's it, you wash your face and then you just use this to pat it off and then it's done. Throw it in the trash, no bacteria is ever spreading around here. Let's stick with bathroom things. These are called Freshies. If you have not heard of them, they are pH balance intimate wipes, meaning you're going to use them to clean your hoo-ha. It's organic aloe vera, coconut water, cranberry fruit extract, no parabens, no dyes, none of those like nasty things. pH balance, good for the body because at one point, like five years ago, we had things like this, but the ingredients were terrible and they were like, it's throwing off our pH, causing odor, all the things that we don't want. Put them in your gym bag, take them with you. And when you're on the go and you just don't feel fresh, you got a midday OBGYN appointment or something like that. Me personally, I take care of myself for the OBG. You would think it's like the hottest date that I have all year. Like I go the extra mile for her. But if you're a working girly and you gotta get straight there, something like this would be a savior because no one wants to feel gross. So you can do a little PTA bath with your freshies. By the way, PTA bath is <laughs> armpits. I learned that from my grandma. <laughs> Love you. This sleep mask right here, this is actually a brand new one. My friend introduced me to this and I was like, I don't get what the big deal is. It's literally a sleep mask. But I'm telling you, it's something about this brand. And now Jordan loves it, everyone loves it. It is just so stinking soft and it covers up such a huge part of the face. It's not expensive. There's nothing crazy about it. It's just like a really soft silk. So it's not gonna cause wrinkles and it just makes everything pitch black and it's huge and it's comfortable. That's it. It was one of those things where I was like, do I even need to talk about this in my video? And then I was like, yes, cause these are the sorts of things that you don't think that you need. And then you spend the 10 bucks and then you're like, God, I'm glad I have this. And it's just one of those things you always have and you're always glad that you own it. So. I thought I'd talk about it. Okay, this right here is the cutest thing ever. I actually brought these to California with me to give to my friend because I think they're the most adorable thing. I found them on TikTok and they come in different colors. They come in gray, I have them in white, and they come in black. But look, they're just like, they're little socks that are like friends and they are so soft and comfortable on. I love socks. It's a thing. My friends and family have this whole inside joke about me because I've loved socks ever since I was a kid. I just, I love socks. I'm rarely barefoot because I love them. But this is the best part. Bitch, I can't. They hold hands. So you can stand next to a friend or yourself and you can just say, oh, I need some love. I got you, bitch. Ooh, come on. Kids would love these, adults would love these. They're so stinking cute. I swear to God, they've invented everything. Everything's been done. Like, what's the point? I've seen it all. It's all been done. It's all been invented. 
This is what I refer to as my kitty cat. This is my little puppy. This is my girl, okay? This light, I, I think it was $10, $11 on Amazon. This is a lifesaver. It goes everywhere with me. You clip it to your phone, you clip it to whatever. Okay, there's the clip. And she looks like a little kitty cat, okay? Meow, whatever. And then it has all these different light settings, okay? So that right there is your cool tone. No, that's your neutral tone. Light, medium, bright, whatever, okay? Then we have warm tone, okay? Light, medium, bright. Then we have, that's the neutral tone. Light, medium, bright. No light, like, come on. Just that tiny little thing, tiny but mighty, because there's so many different lights and like little diffusers on Amazon, so many. You never know which one you need. Girl, this right here, it's so inexpensive. It adjusts like this so you can turn it, twist it once it's clipped onto something. It's just bomb. It's tiny, it's easy, and it looks like a cat. It's adorable. Okay, so speaking of lights, I posted a picture of myself in my bed. I'll put it right here. <laughs> There was me coloring on a random Friday night because that's what I do these days. <laughs> I got so many DMs and comments on that photo asking about all the things. I own two different bed trays that I use and I wanted to talk about the less expensive one. In that photo, the one that I'm using, I believe is like $100. This one is 50. It's a little bit smaller, but it's great. So it looks like this. It's like fake marble on the front. It has all the adjustments. Okay, so it goes like as tall as you want, as short as you want. It leans forward, however you want to lean it, okay? So you can put anything on this. Your iPad, your laptop, a magazine. It's got this right here that can hold goodies for you, okay? It's just a great little, I was gonna say bedpan. <laughs> It's a great little bed table that you can use. I and mean, you can use it at a table too, but I use it in my bed when I'm coloring. I have been really, really, really into mental health recently, like in a really real way. I realized the past, I don't know how many years, 10 years, I've preached about mental health, but I actually haven't taken it as serious as I could. So I've really prioritized taking care of me and my brain. And one of the things I love to do is color, okay? It really helps me. It's genuinely just like me time where I can just like kind of recalibrate my system. I really enjoy it. I don't like sitting at a table like this and coloring. I'm not comfortable. Like I wanna be fresh out of the shower. I wanna be super cozy, wrapped up. And I just wanna sit there and I wanna color for like three, four hours. Like that's what I wanna do. So that's why I got that. Cause it can literally lounge in my bed. I can sit there cross-legged underneath of it and just be so comfortable and zone out into my coloring book. This right here is, it's like a little reading light on Amazon. This is the exact one that I use while I'm coloring. And then it's got all different settings, dim, bright, neutral, warm, all the things. I clip it to the top of that little bed tray. I was gonna say bed pan again. And then I color. These right here, I will link them down below. I have bought in, she's at this point, probably over 20, 30 different coloring books. And my favorite author of coloring books is Johanna Basford. It's just the best. I highly suggest if you're gonna color as far as the quality of paper, as far as what you actually get to color, the intricacy, it's just all the things, but she is the best. This is my newest one that I have not gotten to color in yet, which is super exciting. She also has a Christmas one that I'm so excited to bust out after Halloween and do all the Christmas coloring. Also, as always, keep in mind that everything I link down below, I'm an Amazon associate. I'm an Amazon girly for life. So if you shop through my links down below, you are helping me. You are giving me a small amount of commission, which I always, always, Always appreciate. All right, we all know what a Theragun is, right? But holy crap, my friends Mike and PK turned me on to this specific one. It comes with a different head, but I will never use that. It's all about this flat head right here and the power behind this, okay? There's the first setting, there's the second, and there's the third. I do like a Theragun, but I'm like a little bitch about it. Uh... But this, there's something about the flatness on it. Like when I'm sore, like it just gets in on a different level. So at night I will like lotion up my feet, my calves, and then I'll sit there in bed and I'll use this. It's just good for everything. It's good for blood circulation, for muscle tension. It's just good for all the things. And I'm obsessed with this flat, head. It's like changed the Theragun game for me. It just makes everything so comfortable as opposed to like, ow, 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 that's too much. It's just easy. It feels great. This has been an obsession and I swear it's one of the things that is helping my face lean out. I don't even know what this is technically called. Obviously I got it from Amazon. So it's all different light therapy. It's got green, it's got red, and then it's got blue. You can go ahead and look up. It also comes with a pamphlet when you buy it and it's actually not that expensive for what it is. The difference between green, red, and blue light therapy and what they are good for in the skin as far as like inflammation, oxygen, blood flow, all the things. It also vibrates when you touch it. So I will put it on like red light therapy for inflammation. And then after I put on my serum in the morning, I take about five minutes every single morning, 
whatever I'm doing while I'm walking around my house and I'm still waking up, I take this and I massage it all over my face like this. And it's just repetition. Just doing it five minutes a day, every day. It feels so good. Doing that repetitive motion over and over a lot of times it will pull out and detoxify the skin. Keep going, the texture will go away. It's like the nastiness coming out so the skin can get better. It's like it's darkest before the dawn. Just stick with it. I love it. This thing. Okay, this is so random. I found this on TikTok and I love it. I am one of those people where I cannot stand lint. Oh my God. So it's a little ball right here. Kind of looks like Dragon Ball Z. And then you just take this part off and then that is your lint roller. Like that rolls up and down just like this and it works like a dream. Any lint, gone, just immediately in this little ball. The best part is that you don't have to worry about taking off the sheet, throwing it away. Nope, that ball comes out, you put it under the water, you wash it, soap and water, completely clean, lint free, you stick it right back in and it keeps working just the same. <laughs> like little things like this make me so happy, I'm not kidding. You guys know that I love fans. This little fan is so stinking cute. Again, it's got like little ears, it looks like a little animal. Okay, you open it up like this and then you push the button. There's like a low medium setting and then a medium high setting and then you can set it like this on a table. Just my little Beyonce moment, you know? We fold it up and then it's done. And it's just super easy, it's small, it's not some big giant thing, especially when I'm traveling on the airplane because I can't tell you how many times I'm on the plane and I'm like, where is the airflow? So I always suggest traveling with a fan and a small one like this is just so ideal for, tra ideal for travel. I'm talking too fast. Speaking of travel, y'all, this pillow, oh. I'm obsessed. And the case that it comes with, it's so soft, it's so cozy. I used to travel with a pillow like this when I was young and I don't know why, I forgot. I forgot about having a pillow like this and I only use neck pillows. Now, put this in my carry-on, okay? Like obviously it's a pillow. So like you just like push it, slam it in there, make it super, super tight and small, bust it out on the plane. I'm a window seat girl. So I put this up against the window and bitch, good night. It's over, it's over for me. I've got the sleep mask, I've got the noise canceling headphones, I've got the neck pillow and I've got this. And you best be right, I do carry a blanket with me as well. I'm that bitch. I fully move in. It becomes my little apartment, okay? 4A, that's me, that's my home, that's my apartment and I move in. I am the traveler that does not even pee. Like I move in, I sit there, I have my snacks, I have my water, I am just good to go. I'm, I don't bother nobody. Are you hungry? Nope, I'm good. I have everything I need, don't you worry. I'm surprised I don't wear diapers so I can piss myself in my seat. Like I just move the f in to my seat and I am good. Anyways, my point of that is, this is really nice. These glasses right here. So it comes in a four pack. It comes with two of these and two of these and they're just cute. They're super inexpensive. They're very aesthetically pleasing. They're just adorable. You fill up some iced coffee in here or some Coke. Oh my God, my mouth is like watering for a Coke Zero right now. But they're just super cute and I know we always love glasses, right? And especially when they're super inexpensive and you can kind of like shift them out for seasons, bring new ones in. It's just always exciting. Makes you excited to drink some water, some iced tea, some cocktails, some mocktails, whatever you please. They're just super, super cute. Speaking of glasses, I'll talk about this. This is something that I use all the time. Specifically, I use this for protein powder if I'm making protein shakes or if I'm doing like an electrolyte drink with just like water and electrolytes. It's the easiest thing in the entire world. Again, you think like, oh, I don't need that. But then once you have it, you're gonna use it all the time and it's just gonna become like a part of your life. So I have one and Jordan has one. And all you do is put your water in there. It's obviously doesn't have blades. So you can't put like frozen bananas, right? It needs to be liquefied, whatever you put in there. Then you just push that button on the bottom and it just mixes it up. When I'm running out the door pre-workout, I put water, ice pre-workout, I put it in there, and then literally as I'm walking to my car, I just push that for like 30 seconds and it's done. You don't have to shake, everything gets finely milled and it's easy to drink. And it's just one of those things that once you have it, you'll use it all the time. Kitchen things, this is something that my friend just used last week and I was like, oh my gosh, I know I've seen these, these are nothing new, but still, we got done cooking, we made lunch, and the kitchen just smelled bad. So afterwards, she just grabbed one of these, okay, it just smells like lemon citrus, like lemon zest. Mm. Just throw it in the garbage disposal and turn your garbage disposal on and it just gets rid of the smell of food and it makes your kitchen smell so fresh. It's the same concept as when you put like a fresh lemon down your garbage disposal, except that's not good for the blades in the disposal. It actually like can break them up and ruin it. It can clog the drain, all the situations. This just goes down and releases like a very powerful aroma that just makes your kitchen smell so Fresh. Again, it's just like one of those aesthetic things, right? It's like you cook something, your family's coming over, friends coming over, pop one of those in and it just smells like, mm, oh my 
gosh, it smells so clean in here. <laughs> Smoke and mirrors. Okay, speaking of good smelling things, I really love this brand, Homesick. So they're a all soy based, like natural candle, right? Listen, oh my gosh, the smell of this is so freaking good. You're not gonna take me away from my Bath and Body Works candles. You're just not going to. I'm aware that they're not the best thing for you. So I'm trying to also bring in other candles that aren't Bath and Body Works to kind of, oh, uh, I'm trying to work on balance, you guys, okay? It's like, I'm trying to use a lot more clean body products, but you're never gonna take me away from perfume. I don't know. Just trying to learn balance in my life, right? But this right here, this is the brand Homesick. I will say these candles are not inexpensive, but they do burn very evenly. They last a long time. And for a soy candle, girl, the scent that these put out is magnificent. Like it fills a home which is a big problem I have with a lot of soy candles, is a lot of them, it's like, where is the scent? I paid $30 for you, where is the scent? These fill the home. These are two Christmas scents that are so good, you guys. Oh my God. Oh, I can smell it as I'm opening it. <sighs> you guys, I just don't see how someone could not like both these scents, the Nutcracker and Winter Mantle. And I love that they're just basic, they're plain, they're gonna look good in anyone's home, very aesthetically pleasing, no like obnoxious over the top Christmas decor on them, they're not red and green, so they look good and they smell amazing. Just like that classic Christmas scent, just like walking in the woods, the first fresh snowfall, evergreens, just like icy winter wonderland. They're so good. Okay, so my friend has these in her house and they are so crazy how well they work. All you do is plug it in and they catch gnats in your home. So she has one right by her fruit basket. That way, if like any fruit flies or any gnats try to come for her, gone. In Florida, I don't have as big of a problem with this, but in California, there's like little gnats everywhere. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? But like, look, I just unplugged this from her wall. Look at the gnats in there. Like you can see the bugs. It's freaking gross, but it's so cool that it works. Like it just sits in your wall like this. No one even really notices it because it's just white. Like you can't really even tell, but it's just gonna catch the little gnats so that you don't have to deal with them. This right here is a mosquito and bug repellent and it has no odor. Bitch, if you're like me and you despise the smell of bug spray, like I despise it. It is disgusting. It's disgusting on me. It's disgusting on you. It's so gross. I hate it. I already know someone in the comments are gonna be like, I love the smell of bug spray. I don't know what the hell the ingredients are in this thing, honestly, but it has no odor and it has no stickiness and it keeps mosquitoes away. And I will just say that I am the person that attracts mosquitoes. Like if there's mosquitoes around, I'm gonna get eaten alive. So this right here is a lifesaver for someone like me. I discovered new hair ties, okay? And it's like, they come in gigantic packs. This is a pack of a hundred and I think I paid $5 for them. It's what I have in my hair right now. <laughs> Am I selling it to you? I know my hair looks so good. You don't even have to tell me, but they are just such great hair ties. They're thin. They're comfortable, they're tight. This brand and the Gimme brand are still my favorites. But I just love the fact that these come in a pack of 100 and they're so inexpensive. So it's like, if you lose 50 of them, you still have 50 left. The math is mathing. Math is hard. You guys, this brand, I am obsessed. This is the brand Pumi, okay? I think it's $25 for their body suits. I have them all, bitch. I have them all. I wear the black one like basically every single day. It's in the dirty wash right now because I was actually gonna wear it today. And I was like, oh, whoops, I wore it yesterday. So it is in the laundry. Long sleeve, short sleeve. V-neck, I mean, it's got all different shapes at the collar, like all different shapes. It just comes in so many different styles. They are double lined, they suck you in, girl. They are so good. Like it's almost like having shapewear for a bodysuit, but like it looks great. They're amazing. They're so soft, they wash well. My black one I've washed like at least 10 times and it still feels brand new, it hasn't faded and they're only like 20, 25 bucks. Like I'm obsessed. Right here, these are my two newest shades. I have that chocolate brown and then this purple. Oh my God, this purple is everything. But again, double lined sucks you in if you're feeling insecure about some cottage cheese, if you got anything that you just wanna This'll do it, they're bomb. Okay, let's talk about some phone things. Okay, let's talk about this first. This is an OctoBuddy. So you stick this to the back of your phone. I don't have one on right now because I put on a phone case before I came here to LA. But if you just have like a flat standard phone case or you can put it on your bare phone, you take these, they come in a million different colors and you stick them onto the back of your phone like this, right? 
I'm sure you've seen people with them because they're getting really popular and then it sticks to anything. So if you are a content girly and you want to record yourself, take photos, you, your friends, whatever it is, that's what this is for, okay? You'll get really creative, light poles, like random ass shit. You just stick your phone to it and then you can just record yourself doing whatever you want. That's literally all it is. Okay, speaking of phone things, this charger right here, this is such a great charger because it has different things. It's awesome because all you do to charge it is plug it into the wall just like that. So it plugs in, it charges, it charges fast and it does not die easily. That is your charger right there. And then you have all of your different cords right here. You have all the things. You can charge your iPad, you can charge your iPhone, you can charge Samsung, like all of the cords that you need are attached in there. And you have your USB right there. So you can just charge like random things and you don't need like a little box. So it's just great because if you have this in your purse, again, this is something to be amazing for traveling because if you're with friends, you're gonna be the person that has the charger for everyone, which is kind of annoying if you don't wanna be that girl, but still, it's better than just being the one with the block, with the long ass cord, you know what I mean? And then you have to like, make sure you don't lose the cord, don't lose the block, make sure it's charged and all the things. This is just like compact. You got the charger on it right there, the cord is attached to the block, boom. It's easy. Okay, this right here is just another stupid little gadget that you'll wanna take with you to the gym. I don't know when else personally you would use this thing other than the gym, but it literally is a little ring that you put on your finger and then you can scroll on your phone. So for me, this is a treadmill situation. When you're walking on the treadmill, I can find myself getting dizzy. If I'm like trying to be on Instagram or TikTok and just scroll and watch, you have your phone in front of you, put in your headphones, AirPods, whatever you wanna use. And then as you're walking, you can just have your hand down by your side and then you're just using this. This just allows you to scroll through TikTok, scroll through Instagram. It allows you to like photos, like TikToks, pause, restart just with those three buttons right there. It's an inexpensive item that you, once you take it to you at the gym, you're like, wow, this just got so much easier. And next thing you know, you walked for an hour and you've just been wasting your entire life on TikTok. This is random, but it is so addicting, okay? So technically this is like a kid's toy, right? But I don't care. I got introduced to this last week and someone was like, just feel how satisfying they, this is. They threw it on my arm and I was like, this is so weird. Like, what's the point? Two hours later, I was sitting there like, it's just so, it's so fun and so satisfying. I don't know what it is. It's kind of like meditation. Like it just makes me zone out. I don't know, it's like one of those like things that just like helps you just like fidget and not think. Especially when you're like in silence, you can hear the sound of it. I don't know, I don't know. It's just like, it's one of those sensory things. I don't even know if this is technically called, okay? But I got introduced to it and this is amazing. So talk about sensory, stand on this, while using this and you're gonna be taken to a different dimension. I believe these are originally called like Marmar mats and they're made to like ground you, okay? They're supposed to be like a, a, a sense of grounding and like they're very therapeutic. Wear socks. You cannot step on this barefoot. It will hurt. It will very much hurt your feet. But what it is, is it's super, super squishy. So you get that sensory of like the squishiness along with these like very sharp things poking all over your feet. And it just really brings you back to earth. And it does, it grounds you and it just makes you kind of, okay, we're here, we're in the present. I can feel this, I'm standing on this. It's nice and squishy. Like that's what it's all about, right? Like when you have anxiety, it's good to look around, identify, I see this, I smell this, I feel this. And this is just really, really great for that. These little biker shorts, okay? They're so comfortable you could sleep in them. Like imagine like a very, very soft legging. I feel like a lot of times biker shorts, they're very confining and like compressing and just like, mm, and like that's fine and that's great for a certain time. But these are just soft, cottony, stretchy, biker shorts, wear around the house, work out in them, go on walks in them, you could sleep in them. They're just so cozy and just such a good like standard essential. They come in a ton of different colors, so comfy, cozy, and easy. Speaking of comfy, cozy, and easy, this is a set from Amazon that I love. Okay, so this right here, these are the shorts, okay? They look like this, okay? Just like kind of like an oversized loungewear moment. I got it in blue, but it comes in a ton of different colors. It's just like nice Amazon cozy basics for a good price, you know what I'm saying? Cause like at this point, there's so many different brands that have just like cozy basics, but it's not affordable necessarily. Finding things like this on Amazon is like one of my favorite things that comes in all different colors because it's just comfortable and you don't have to be super stressed out if you like overwear it and it starts to pill or it doesn't look perfect a year from now. You know what I'm saying? So I will link this 
specific one down below. This right here is a makeup bag. It kind of looks like Vans. I didn't think of that at first when I first got it. This is my Louis Vuitton one, okay? And then this is the Amazon one. But you can see as far as the actual make, like the design, it's the same thing as far as opening and closing that right there. It's the same exact thing with this which I love. That Louis Vuitton one I've had for like probably like seven or eight years and I love traveling with it. So that's why I bought this one because I was like, this is amazing because it holds so much. It's such a great makeup toiletry bag. And again, it's Amazon, it's inexpensive. So if your toothpaste busts open, you're not gonna cry over it, you know what I mean? But I just love just the accessibility of it and how easy it is to use and how much it fits. I recently got introduced to these and I don't know how I live my life without them. They're these little mini toothbrushes. They come in a pack on Amazon, okay? Having fresh breath is the most important thing to me in all of it. Like, I, like just fresh breath, that's it. That's it. Because like, if I knew that I were to have bad breath and someone in my life were to smell bad breath on me, I would never live that down. I'd be like, that, that's it. Like I, I can never outlive that. Like I can't be the bitch with stinky breath. It's not gonna happen, okay? So I was very excited to discover these. These are little mini toothbrushes. And then in the center, they have like a little mint, minty gel that like gets activated once you start scrubbing. And like these little plastic things, just scrub your teeth, scrub your tongue. On this side, it's got like a little toothpick. So you can like get in there, get any, food, whatever it is, but when you're on the go, cause I am that person. After I get done eating, I'm like, ugh, like gum is not enough. Like I just need to be so fresh all the time, okay? These are just such a game changer to have in your purse. You should have seen my reaction when I discovered these. I was like jumping up and down. I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Where have these been all my life? This is amazing. Going hand in hand, I know I've talked about this a million times, but it's still one of those products along with the natural deodorant that I talked about. I've talked about it for like five years. This is still one of those products I get DMs about every single day from you guys saying, thank you so much for introducing me to Smart Mouth because it's the best. And I'm like, girl, I know, I know, I know. Listen, even if you don't struggle with bad breath, cause I don't struggle with it, but I still use this. But if you or someone in your life does struggle with it, I'm telling you, that there is no better mouthwash. I don't want to hear it. Mm -mm. I've tried them all. I have fixed a lot of people's breath in my life. This is the way. Use it every single night before bed. When you wake up in the morning, you will probably still have fresh breath. It's the best, just trust me. I cannot believe how many people in my life do not use one of these. All you do is put this into your meat to see how hot it is and where it's at and that's how you know when it's done, okay? Because the idea of undercooked chicken, but also the idea of overcooked chicken, just like dry and chewy, it's all disgusting. It needs to be perfect. It's got all the temperatures for you right here. It tells you fish, meat, poultry, it tells you exactly where it's supposed to be at, 165 right there. So you do not want it to go to 180 or 200. You want to pull it out at 165 and you're done cooking. So ever since I got one of these, this is probably like a year and a half ago, I'm not someone who cooks. Jordan does all the cooking, right? but I have gotten better. I cook a lot of salmon, I cook chicken now, but it's only because of this, because now I can cook the fish and the meat perfectly, and it just tastes amazing. And it's not underdone or overdone because of a digital thermometer. This is gonna sound crazy to you, but I just recently started washing my fruits and veggies. Like Jordan and I rinse it underwater and then that's it. Like it's so bad, but like I just recently started actually washing them. Like once I started learning more and more about the situation going on on them, I was like, Ugh. but like I'm also the kind of person where it's like I did grow up on a farm. So I'm like, I'll pick an apple that has dirt on it and just wipe it off and eat it. So like, that's fine. But like also like pesticides and things like that and like strangers touching it. I'm like, okay, no, no, no. So this right here is such an amazing fruit and veggie wash. You just spray it on top of your fruits and veggies, okay? Like in the sink. And then you just kind of toss it around with your hands, shake it up and you'll literally watch everything foam. I like to wash it in like one of those bowls that has the holes in it where like a strainer when like making mac and cheese in it. And you'll literally watch like dirt and shit come off of your fruits and vegetables into your sink. So that's what made me start doing it. Cause once I started seeing all the stuff coming off, I was like, we're done. But this one right here from Amazon, obviously, and it's bomb. Here we go with the randoms. This ranch seasoning right here, okay? Mix it with sour cream. You can mix it with Greek yogurt, mix it with a little buttermilk, whatever it is. It is so good. I love a good ranch powder because you can make it more healthy and high in protein just by adding a ranch powder that's zero calories into Greek yogurt. And then it's like, okay, you're getting the protein of the Greek yogurt and the flavor of ranch. You can dip veggies in it. It's just like one of those little tricks that's so amazing. Obviously there's the Hidden Valley Ranch Packets, but this one right here is so delicious and it's gigantic and it's inexpensive and it's on Amazon Prime and it's delicious. 
All right, girl, this one is not an inexpensive item, but it is so good. This is a pure maple syrup and it's cinnamon and vanilla infused. Okay, let me just smell it, hold on. Oh my God! It is like re ridiculous how good this smells. It just would have poured all over myself. It is so stinking good. Absolutely incredible maple syrup that tastes like you're at like a five-star brunch restaurant. This is it. A lot of you guys are gonna be like, are you joking, Jacqueline? But I just recently discovered Aleppo pepper. My friend who is Arabic, she uses this for everything. She has so much Aleppo pepper in her house, it's crazy. She puts it in everything from eggs to guacamole, salsas, it doesn't matter, meat, fish, stir fry, she puts Aleppo in everything. And it's so delicious that I was like, okay, I need this. So I am now an Aleppo girl. I don't know how to explain it other than it's like a different kind of less spicy version of like Cajun and paprika, but it just brings everything to life and it's such a good seasoning. So now I put it in everything. Yes, bitch. Yes, 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 bitch. It's so good. It's almost like tahini meets Cajun meets paprika, but not super spicy. It's just so good. So if you have not tried Aleppo pepper seasoning in your food, just try it out. I can't believe this is my last thing and it's a snack. <laughs> These are Lily's chilies. You guys, if you don't know, you're welcome. This is the chili strawberry and then this is the chili watermelon. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's just pure sugary shit that tastes amazing. It's literally just like soft, chewy, sour candies with like a spicy, oh my God. It literally makes my mouth water, it's so good. If you love like fruit and chamoy and like tahim, you will love Lily's chilies. Okay, you guys, that is it for this video. I cannot believe that I have been filming for literally an hour talking about my Amazon must haves. But as always, please tell me in the comments down below what your current Amazon must haves are. It's never enough for me. I'm always looking to buy more things, especially those things that you don't think you need. And then once you have it, you're like, how did I live without this? Like my digital meat thermometer. Now it's one of those things where I'm like, I'm not cooking without it. Like I don't even know how to live my life without it. Like I love that. So anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. I know this video has been so long. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoy shopping Amazon Prime days. Everything will be linked down below. That's it. I love you. Bye.